for time. Launches a three, sinks it from distance. I mean, I guess they're willing to give him that shot. <laughs> they may want to rethink that strategy, though. Pass to Perez. Over to the left wing. And count it. Now five for seven. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. Five to shoot. Puts it up from 15. He can't get it to go. Great defense. Can't let guys get open looks inside the arc. Here's ABC. Doesn't go for him. Puts it up from 17. That one's wide left. We are in OT. A minute and a half gone by, and what has been a great one. To the middle. Uses the glass on the layup. No surprise there. I mean, realizing he has the size advantage, he exploits it perfectly. Pass to Fernando. Who poked away. Just about two minutes into the overtime period. What a game. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And he makes a first. So he gets them both. of it shot clock at three and there's the shot clock violation couldn't get the shot off in time we're in ot here with just over two and a half minutes gone by time out time out
Just over two and a half minutes in OT in this exciting contest. Here's ABC. Out to the right wing. Six to shoot. Got a piece of it. And that goes out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Three minutes now gone here in OT. Well, there's the shot clock violation. So they'll turn it over. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. To win the drought. They grab their own miss. The ball's knocked loose. Here's Fernando. Ooh, tough possession there. They stayed with it. Just couldn't make the shot. Just under three and a half minutes played. An extra time here. And it's rejected. Driving inside. Let's it go from 14. Doesn't go that time. Here's Perez. Pass to ABC. Three-pointer. That shot off the mark. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And if you can't force the turnover on that play, then that's not a bad foul. Yeah, I agree with you there, but at least they did get the clock stopped. That is the one saving grace of that situation. the first one drops and that brings him within two here that's also good so he hits both free throws 52 seconds left to play in overtime. Let's it go from 11. No good. A bit long that time. To take the lead. They get it again. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he'll sit the rest of this one out. And if you can't force the turnover on that play, then that's not a bad foul. Yeah, I agree with you there, but at least they did get the clock stopped. That is the one saving grace of that situation. Ooh, he knocks down the clutch free throw. And so he's good on both free throws, and that gives him a lead. In a close game, every point matters. Terrific focus at the line there to help them keep pace.
Here's ABC. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Looking to end this cold spell. Oh, he nails time it! Out, time out. Late here in the quarter, they still have a foul to give. All right, guys, what do you think? It's always interesting to see what play a coach has saved for a situation like this. And we call those ATOs, or plays run after a timeout. They often make the difference in a game. Here's the three. Oh, the all-or-nothing shot attempt falls offline. And so they get the victory here at home. It was touch and go there for a while, but in overtime, they caught a second win. They really did, and it was wild. Everything it took just to get to the extra period.